Well, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to Hicksville Exempted Village Schools. We're here on Main Street, and uh, on this Friday afternoon, our live stream is coming to you from the 2023 District Art Show. This is the annual event near the end of the school year, where it uh, showcases and highlights the artistic talents of students here at Hicksville from grades kindergarten all the way up through senior year. And uh, we're going to uh, be walking through, showing you the, uh, the artwork that is here on display. We may chat with a few people along the uh, course of the next half hour or so. But we want to thank you for joining us here on the Hicks TV YouTube channel with our annual look, again, at the artistic talent on display here at Hicksville Schools. I am Bill Murphy with Hicksville Community Television. Chris Warner is here with me as well. He's operating the uh, Steadicam rig for this live stream. I want to thank him. And we also want to thank our good friends at the Hicksville Bank, located right in the heart of downtown Hicksville, Ohio, underwriting our live coverage of the 2023 district art show this afternoon. Uh, remember, they are a member of the FDIC, and you can find out more about activities at the main branch and all of their other branches, their hours of operation, and all the services they have for you and your family by checking them out online at www.thb.bank. So with that, uh, how do, you, how do you want to do this, Chris? Do you want to go back to the beginning and sort of start there? We could spin around here because there's uh, yeah, oh, yeah, a couple of the uh, staff members. Always embarrassed. I don't know why, too. They're such a good-looking couple, and they're always embarrassed to be on camera. My goodness. We're going to come down here, and we'll start for sort of from the beginning. Can we do the windows like we always do? And we'll do the ceramic yeah, and we'll come back. We'll, uh, we'll sort of make our, our pathway through. But here, if you, if you are coming out to the art show this afternoon, and it is from 4.30 until 7 p.m., uh, you are at the uh, event entrance, which is where you would come if you are coming for a basketball game or anything along those lines. Uh, you'll come in, and uh, they've got the tables set up here. Uh, if you have a child who has art on display, you can pick up that artwork. And, uh, and some, of the, some of the art pieces of art are, are available for purchase, even for the general public, too. You, there's a sticker that's on the artwork that you can check and see whether it's something that you can buy or whether whether it's been reserved by the student, whatever the case may be. But here's where you can check things out. And uh, also, if you, I guess, if you wanted to uh, purchase your, your, your child's artwork or just make a donation to the art department, uh, they'll be happy to help you out here. And i uh, got to keep Christopher away from this because it's crayons. And the, this young man, well, we just can't do that. <laughs> yeah. Also, they have snacks available, free will donation. And it looks like oh, a dollar each. Looks like they got some donuts. They've got Rice Krispie squares, brownies, bottles of water. So you can grab yourself a quick snack too if you're stopping by after work and before you go home for supper. So that's the main entrance. And with that, let's head down Main Street. And as we go down first, we're going to show you the artwork that is on display sitting on the windows. now. We're going to try to get it, but we, sometimes the artwork is hard to see simply because of the sunlight behind them. But we're going to take our time. We're going to take a slow, slow stroll down, and you can enjoy all of the artwork that is on display here on the windows. We're also coming up to the art show directory, which if you are coming out here and you're looking for specific artwork done by your child. They have this big directory up here on the wall. It's broken down by grade levels. So if you have a child on the third, in the third grade, you can uh, just sort of uh, look down and see your child's name and they'll tell you what they have on display, where it's located, and that way you can quickly find whatever it is you're looking for. And we'll head on down and we'll continue our look at the window artwork. Every now and then, Chris is going to have to sort of get close because he has to dodge tables that are set up in the middle of Main Street that has some ceramics on display. But I'll try to block for him. And again, we're very glad to have you with us here on this Friday as we are getting near the end of the school year. Just a couple more weeks of uh, classes for the students. They head out into the summer of 2023. Right. 
and this will be sort of wrapping up our week. I do want to remind you, too, that while we are here at the District Art Show, uh, don't forget, if you haven't already done so, this is Mother's Day weekend. So that means that the uh, Hicksville Beautification Committee is having their annual plant sale, and that is uh, being held over at the Defiance County Fairgrounds in the Municipal Building. And that's going on today until about 6 p.m. and also tomorrow morning from 9 a.m. until about 1 in the afternoon. And there's also uh, the open house coming up at the Hicksville Fire Department. That'll be on Saturday from 11 a.m. until 2 p.m. with uh, all of the fire vehicles out and on display. And Lupita's is going to be there with their food truck, and uh, they'll be doing tacos for a free will offering. Come out here to the main area. Well, let's go down and are we going to go all the way down and finish all of the window artwork first yeah, and then work our way back? Okay. I'm sort of late. Christopher's doing the doing all the walking here with the camera, so I'll sort of let him pick out the route that he wants to take. As again, you know, we we're going to do our best to be able to show you some of the artwork here in the window sills, but again, it's sometimes not the easiest thing to do depending on the the brightness of the sky behind us. But are some very interesting pieces of art. And we'll do a bit of a dash here as we <laughs> sort of come to a, a lull between the windows. a lot of different styles and types of artwork that have been done here. Some paintings, some wood blocking, some watercolors. And as you see, that's not the only type of art that is involved with the, uh, with the district art show or here at Hicksville Schools. You'll see charcoal sketches, pencil drawings, Again, etchings, paintings, and also ceramics, photography, uh, any number of things. Pretty good sketch of Mr. Davis. Oh, uh, Spider-Man. Copyright Disney and Marvel. <laughs> Move on down here. And you can see, as I said, there are there, there's photography here, collages, all different kinds of artwork. Just some really really neat stuff uh, where uh, there are, there's artwork where the kids have actually like carved blocks and then they ink them and sort of. Uh, print onto paper. We'll get down to the last couple of sections of windows here. Kind of an axolotl there. So that takes us down the one side, and that's the entire length of Main Street covered in artwork. And we'll work our way back now towards the Commons area, and uh, we'll uh, show you some of the ceramics that are on display here on the tables. Various, uh, various styles, too, of uh, pots, pans, vases, cups. Drape dishes, uh, coil pots, uh, 
darted mugs this year. So we did uh, darted mugs, coil pots, drape dishes, pinch pots, and a lot of different other projects. If you saw the thumbnail, that was uh, Chris's drape dish. And uh, you, you know, this is a coil pot, by the way, because you make a coil. And he was, you, your coil pot didn't materialize the way you'd envisioned it, right? Uh, no, it did not, actually. <laughs> but that's what happens with ceramics. You get some good pieces, you yep. get some good bad pieces. Because some of these are really, really interesting and really cool to look at. Different glazing techniques as well throughout mm -hmm. the pieces. Working our way down. Very large coil pot here. And some tile coasters, just so now we'll move up to the commons area, where again there's a huge amount of artwork on display. And we'll just start uh, working our way around. Now you'll notice too that there are some gaps, in because again as the uh, youngsters come by with their folks, they are able to uh, retrieve their artwork. So. We try to get here as early as possible to show you as much of the artwork as we can, but we usually get beat by a few people, so there are some people that have been here ahead of us who've uh, taken artwork done by their kid. And that will explain the, like I said, the, the occasional gaps that you will see. But we are gonna be able to show you the, the vast majority. You can see the very large squares the quilt type of uh, artwork that has been done. Work our way down here. Kind of nicely ask the school board members to get out of our way. <laughs> Good to see Mrs. Carrier here. And we'll spin around and head to the tables now. Mr. Gagan is standing watching us. I haven't, we haven't pounced on him yet, but we'll see if we can get some words with him coming up here shortly. But we'll, uh, we'll show you some artwork here first. Some interesting photo collages here. My daughter would like some of these. She's a Jimmy Buffett fan, the, the ones that got the parrot heads. I could uh, appeal to her. back around, take another lap. The far side of the tables now. As you can see artwork for you know, like feathers, American flags, more of the photo collages.
And again, Christopher and I want to thank you all very much for joining us. And again, we hope you are enjoying our live stream coverage of the 2023 District Art Show here at Hicksville Schools. Our coverage being underwritten by the Hicksville Bank in downtown Hicksville, member FDIC. Find out more about their services for you and your family, their branches and more at www.thb.bank. The Hicksville Bank our silver level underwriting supporter, again, bringing you this district art live stream this afternoon. I want to thank them so very much. What a difference a week makes too. Last week, on Friday and Saturday, the Commons was decked out. It was City Lights. It was Prom 2023. And this weekend, it's the District Art Show. And I think uh, starting next week, we're going to have awards ceremonies going on here in the Commons. I think uh, beginning next week on Wednesday with Senior Awards Night here at Hicksville Schools. It's also going to need to be redone for the uh, choir and band concerts coming up. That is true. We should make mention, too, as uh, we're talking about things, uh, the, uh, it's going to be a, mu a, mu a music marathon night next week on Monday, starting at 6 o'clock with the 5th and 6th grade band and choirs, and then they'll be followed by the 7th through 12th grade band and choirs performances. Uh, the uh, good news is that the, vi the city council... <laughs> The village council meeting will still be going on on Monday the 15th at 6 p.m., but the school board meeting has been moved back one week. So the school board meeting will now be held on, on Monday, May the 22nd. So that cuts things down to a manageable level. Christopher and I were sitting there trying to figure out how we were going to cover everything, but uh, thank goodness uh, the school board stepped in and switched and moved their meeting back by a week to make it a lot easier for us. So. Head over and we'll do the next line of tables here, or the back wall. And again, since I was talking about the school board meeting being moved to the 22nd, again, a reminder that the uh, 22nd is also going to be an in-service day, and there will be no school for students on Monday, May the 22nd. So we've been sharing that information, but I thought I'd throw it out there one more time just in case. And of course, we will be carrying the school board meeting live on the Hicksville Community Television Facebook page. Ah, a bunch of Christmas trees here. And some geometric designs and ladybugs. And seahorses. Continue along as we have cardinal couples here. And many variations on the aces name. using the red 
white, gray, and black. And some interesting geometric, I think these are construction paper cut out like collages. Oh, excuse us, we're sorry. Crowd is starting to pick up a little bit as people are getting off work and heading into the Mother's Day weekend. And again, uh, let us be one of, amongst the first to all of you moms out there and grandmas and moms to be. And I want to wish you all a very, very happy Mother's Day coming up on this Sunday. And we'll go through the Aces, the Candy Canes, the Cardinals. Another youngster getting their artwork to take home with them. Hats off, too, to the many, many volunteers here at the schools that have spent uh, the last, uh, most of this week, as a matter of fact, they volunteered their time to come in. And uh, these, the artwork that we've just seen does not get into the frames all by itself. Uh, there are a lot of people that help out and frame the artwork. Now we're going to be seeing some of the uh, clay and ceramics. These are assorted octopus or octopi. And we've got some turtles over here, it looks like. And also some castle towers. over here to various animals. Looks like a Dimetrodon. And uh, I think it's a duck riding on the back of a hippopotamus. Perhaps these are fantasy animals, I'm not sure. A little bit of everything out here on the table. And one last table, table to go, yep. Yeah. Oh, and this one too, so we have two more tables. Yeah, all right. Want to make sure we get as much as possible in for you. Again, these are various creatures. Looks like we got an alien face hugger. The beast from... 20,000 fathoms, it looks like. Is this the Brian mascot? No, they're golden bears. It's the Brian color, so I'm going to hear from that in the comments. Now we'll head over and check out some more octopi. Sort of move around and then, then we'll see if we can speak to the elementary art teacher here, Mr. Gagan. How are you doing? Good. How about yourself? I'm doing very good. Now, Thanks this has been another out. great year for you. I mean, I all throughout the school year, I kept seeing things where art students were involved, stuff in the community, at local businesses, competitions. They were designing ads and posters. I mean, so I know it's, it's kind of hard to do, but in an sum up the 2022-2023 uh, school yeah, year. This is probably the biggest year yet. We kind of went above and beyond what we've we've done. Um, the community art gallery that you've mentioned, we've had we've been doing that for for about 10 years now, mm -hmm. but this year we've had we had 12 businesses now. We had Amanda Lee Coffee and the Rooted Shop joined in this year. So we had two extra places mm -hmm. to expand and show even more artwork for our students. Mm -hmm. And that's both Mr. Stevenson and my students yeah. as well that we get to display a couple per business. So that's kind of a, an ongoing art mini art show throughout the year. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, and then, yeah, the Crescent News puts on the design and ad um, every year, and so they, we actually just finished that up. Judging should be finishing up with yeah. that soon. Yeah, last, last year, Hicksville did really, really yeah. well. Yeah, and so I haven't heard quite yet, but it should be pretty soon that I'll find out if we have any top ten winners for my fifth or sixth graders for that. Um, the biggest thing, though, is we had visiting artist Claire Smith, mm -hmm. um, who worked on our incredible mural with our five through twelve students, yep. and that's been that's been over the last um, couple months now. Um, she's been coming up from from Columbus. Yep. That's uh, now that that's a, an Ohio art. Oh, oh, the, the state of Ohio has an entity known as the Ohio Arts Council, that's correct. which exists to promote art, and that can be like not only art, like traditional art, but I mean theater, yep. uh, I mean, the whole gamut of artistic expression. Yeah. And uh, they have programs, visiting artists, and various grants and programs, and the, the school here was able to, to get a visiting artist this yeah. year. Yeah, so, so Jane Myers here, she did an amazing job of helping Mr. Stevenson and I um, do that grant at the end of last school year, and then we, we received that grant, and so then we had a list of people that we had to look through, and we kind of narrowed down, and when we talked to Claire, it was just like, wow, she's got the perfect fit, she's got mm -hmm. the vision for what we want, um, she's a, a printmaker, mostly by trade, and and Mr. Stevenson and I both love printmaking in our yep. classrooms and her mural work as well. Um, we've always wanted to do some kind of really big mural work with mm -hmm. collaboration and so it just, everything kind of fell into place and she was the perfect fit for us and for her to make a, a trip every week from Columbus for a couple of days a week was amazing and, and the work she did. And she even got to work with Mr. Farrell's class too and, and make okay. a mural, the other murals for his uh, barn that's gonna go up outside his barn too. Awesome. So yeah, inspired by the barn quilt trails throughout Ohio. Mm -hmm. um, we don't have a barn quilt uh, trail here in Defiance County as far as I know, but maybe this is the start of it. So. Well, you never know. <laughs> yeah, like I said, and uh, like I said, cause we, were, we were looking at them earlier and uh, we made sure that we, uh, we featured them because I mean, they are really cool designs and again that uh, I guess a lot of people don't realize that a lot of the the artwork that you see when you come here if you ever come here to visit Hicksville schools is student generated I mean yes. uh, you've got it always kind of it's always astounding every year the the level of talent that is on display here sometimes yeah I mean for for me I have about 500 students that come through my classroom you know every every week and um, that's both my K through four which is rotates through you know you know every four days and then my middle schoolers who are fifth and sixth graders I get to have them every day for a semester mm -hmm. and so now that I have those semester classes like the older kids I get to really like have more more attention to the clay projects and the printmaking projects and even graphic design and things like that um, and it just makes it, it really pushes them beyond their levels so that mm -hmm. when they go on to Mr. Stevenson too like they've already got a great foundation hopefully with me and I hope we kind of instill a little bit of that love, love of art that yeah. they want to continue it. And so, we, yeah, we try to do a wide variety of, of work, though, too, that we can... Yeah, and it's one of, of the, one of the neat things about Hicksville Schools, too, is that, I mean, the kids at the elementary level, maybe not every day, but they are getting art instruction and they're getting to yeah. create and sort of un, unleash their inner creativity at once or twice a week. Yeah, yeah, throughout the school year. I mean, for, for them, it's, you know, they've got art every week and... You know, I, I, that's very valuable time that I have with them, and it's up for me to figure out, you know, what is what is the artwork going to be inspired by? Is it going to be inspired by a famous artist? Is it going to be inspired by a particular artwork? Um, I'm a big fan of Charlie Harper, who is a, an Ohio-based artist, and I love doing hit, inspiring artwork by him with my students because he's a, 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 a realistic minimalist who does simple shapes and colors and great for, great for translating to elementary projects. Mm -hmm. But then this year I did some like Aces theme projects and you know try to like really make the kids connect yeah. to what they're doing in the yeah, class. What did they, what, did, what what was the biggest hit with the kids this year? Um, man, that's a tough question. I mean, clay is always the biggest hit, and I think we had some great clay projects this year. Uh, I'm just trying to look around the room and, and really narrow it down. Um, I it's it's really hard to put my finger on one. I mean, every grade level probably has their favorite, but for me. I try to I try to do something different every year with the kids so it doesn't get repetitive to me but it yeah. gets new and fresh for them and you know and just keep making new things so that every year when we have this beautiful art show that it's not the same mm -hmm. thing every year for families to see because kids have siblings and you know could have siblings you know all the way up through high school and I want the families to be able to come and see that we're doing something new and fresh every year and we set our art art program to the same high expectations that we do everything else here in Hicksville. Yeah. Now you talk to the kids about over the summer about uh, staying creative, things along those lines, and, and have you already started thinking about? Is there anything brewing for for next school year? Yeah, there's there's always things. You know, whether it's I visit a museum or I see something at, at an art gallery that I take notes. I also have 
you know, friends from our teachers that are in other school districts or even just Mr. Stevens side talking back and forth. But I've always got, you know, something in the back of my mind. And I, I often like even like create things that I don't end up having time to teach throughout the year because things like just really sometimes take a, a mind of their own with the kids and it, it becomes something totally new and expand. But there's a few projects with my middle school this year that I've had in my back pocket actually for the last year or two that I finally took out this year <laughs> and taught them. And so, you know, it's fun to kind of keep my keep my repertoire keep growing and keep things again fresh where I'm not repeating the same thing every year because it makes teaching more fun and, and it makes the kids learning more fun too. Well, terrific. And, and again, just great here today. It's a lot of fun. People coming in and seeing. And again, it's always really neat just to see the level of creativity that you have. And yeah. people have never come out and checked it out before. You, you really should stop by because it, it, it can be really surprising, some of the things you'll see. Yeah, I'm very appreciative of all the community support here every year. I mean, it's great to see so many families walking around and enjoying all the artwork. And every year we have a great turnout and I'm, I'm just appreciative that we can do something like this for our kids that put in so much work and creativity into it and now now everybody can celebrate it as we as we reach towards the end of the year so yeah. and i'll tell you right now i still have some of the i <laughs> still in the frame for my daughter when she was a student here as well so they really do hang on so again mr gagan thanks so much Thank you for terrific coming. job Thank again you this year and thanks for taking some time out to chat with us we'll let you go now so you can right. continue helping out thanks. again mr gagan he is the elementary art teacher up through the sixth grade i want to thank him so very much i don't know if we'll be able to catch mr stevenson Ah, there he is. I don't know if he'll be willing to talk to us or not. You can see what's going on at the high school level. That is, you know, we, I hate to interrupt people when they're talking with other people. So we can, we can wait until you're done talking, then we'll, then we'll jump in. Okay, I'm, I'm ready for that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> They'll clear out of the way. Joey Stevenson here with us. Good, good to see you again, to too. See you. Yes, uh, another successful year. And uh, I, I'll, I'll ask you the same thing I asked Mr. Gagan, which is to start off with, just as hard as it might be, in a nutshell, just sum up what all the art kids have been doing 2022, 2023 school year. Yes, absolutely. Well, um, just like uh, the previous years, our kind of main offerings are the uh, digital photography and design, uh, the ceramics courses, mm -hmm. and then the art courses. Um, and so just kind of a little bit of, of, of work in all of those categories. Yeah. Um, and then, of course, we have a few uh, special things on display uh, this year as well. Yeah. We already heard about the, right behind us. We have the, uh, these wonderful, they look like quilts. They're, they're, mm -hmm. they're not actually fabric quilts. Correct. But this was the artist in residence that we were able to uh, have come up from Columbus and uh, through the Ohio Arts Council this year. That's right. Yes, uh, that was a... In, in, in my 10 years, and I think in Mr. Gagan's 11 years, uh, we've never had an opportunity like this yeah, yet. I, I was wondering, the, especially with the older kids, what's it like for them to actually be able to interact with someone who actually makes a living doing creative artwork? Yeah, it's, uh, it's been a great opportunity to, to, for the students and myself uh, mm -hmm. to learn from a professional, uh, an artist and, and printmaker. Yep. And uh, yes, yeah, so we all learned a lot. And um, we've done printmaking before. Uh, we've done that both Mr. Gagan and myself enjoy printmaking, but uh, she taught us to work with it in new ways, which was really neat. <laughs> that was cool. Awesome. Yeah. And again, uh, we have the, uh, the, the, I guess, the, the, the outside, the community art galleries that are yes. featured in a number. And Mr. Gagan was saying you actually picked up a couple new businesses this year. Uh, yes, we did. Um, so I think in any given month, uh, goodness, oh, gosh. Math is difficult. Yeah. <laughs> I want to say we, we are doing something like 48 artworks a month, mm -hmm. uh, if my math serves me well. Yeah. Still, I mean, that, yeah. That's... And that's quite a few K-12, to yeah. that, that quite a few students that we get to represent mm -hmm. um, most months out of the school year. And so. I, think it, I think it's really kind of too, because it, it does, it's not like a static thing that's the same all year. It rotates out. And so every time you go to one of these various businesses, you get, you get a chance to experience something new and the creativity of the kids here at the school. Absolutely, and, and it's a wonderful opportunity that the businesses provide uh, for us um, to promote the kids and to promote you know, our art program and, and to celebrate art. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and next year is the 25th anniversary of the first ever program being aired on Hicksville Community Television. Oh, wonderful. So 
I'm going to hopefully be talking with you and perhaps even Mr. Gagan at the start of the next school year because over the summer we're going to try to figure out but we'd like to do a contest mm. where we could have a 25th anniversary logo made up Ooh. that we could uh, utilize uh, and you know, maybe even get some shirts made up or, or some t-shirt, you know, something along those lines. We're not sure exactly what all we're doing. The part of our summer plans for Hicks TV is to figure out what we want to do. Yeah. Uh, we are actually celebrating one 25th anniversary this year. This is the 25th anniversary year for when the cable committee was formed and actually started doing the groundwork. Mm -hmm. But the, the station actually going on air will be, that 25th anniversary is next year. So. I guess we had a two-year 25th anniversary. Oh, cool. It's kind of weird, but <laughs> anyway. Uh, you mentioned, again, you do digital photography, ceramics. Now, in years past, ceramics have been really, really popular, but I can see digital photography maybe starting to gain some interest, too, as more and more kids are interested in doing things like TikTok, uh, things mm -hmm. along those lines. And, you know, the SLR cameras, whatever, can do video as, uh, mm -hmm. and the you know, small camcorders. So I, I, I could see perhaps interest in that creeping up. Yeah, there's a lot of a lot of room for growth, as you might imagine, for uh, technology uh, to be incorporated into art. Mm -hmm. And in probably digital photography and design is, of all my classes, the one of the most appropriate places for that. Mm -hmm. um, but, you, you know, first of, all, first of all, congratulations on the 25th anniversary. Yeah. And, and uh, I think the logo, some sort of logo contest would be very, very fun. Well, good. And, uh, and over the years, we've only gotten kind of more and more tools to participate in something like mm -hmm. that. So that sounds like a lot of fun. And... I know our kids would do a great job. Well, that would be awesome, cool. And uh, like I said, uh, with the digital photography, but at the same time, I mean, as people walk around here, there are oil paintings mm -hmm. and uh, water, watercolors, there are charcoal. And uh, so, I mean, the tr I guess we, the, maybe the more traditional type of artwork is also something that the students can learn and experience here. That is absolutely right. Yeah, there's still a good um, emphasis on the traditional uh, arts, whether that's ceramics or, yeah, Painting, drawing, printmaking, um, so you get a little taste of both. Yeah, yeah. There's, so, so you just walk around. I mean, there, there are collages, there are there are prints. I mean, just all kinds of really, really interesting neat ways for the kids to express themselves. And uh, and like I said, in every year, you know, some of the some of the sketches, some of the photography. I mean, it's almost museum. I mean, some of these are really, really good. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's. Uh, it's a treat uh, to see what the kids do. It really, yeah. it really is, um, and I'm glad, I'm glad we have such a nice night to be able to showcase it all yes, as well. Indeed. Yeah, and I'm not kidding. I've been, we've been doing this for a number of years, and every year there's, I mean, I'm not, they're, they're not a lot, but there's like usually there's two or three that you just sort of go, wow, yeah. that is, holy smoke! I mean, that amazing talent. Sometime now, getting ready for the summer. Of course, uh, I know you you always try to do something to encourage the kids to to be creative and, and do something over the summer to, to come back in or uh, you have some that you will not be coming back they'll be graduating and right. uh, some of them pursuing perhaps you know, I mean we have people that go on to be photojournalists from Hicksville and that's right and uh, and who knows graphic design graphic artists and so forth so uh, that's always got to be a, a good feeling too if somebody does come back and say hey yeah you remember, I do that for a living now I mean that, that's pretty awesome that's right I can think of one student in particular that has gone on to work with a uh, a number of different NFL teams yep. in the. I know, uh, I know yeah. exactly who you're <laughs> talking about. I know who I'm talking too. about. Um, and then uh, just even students that are graduating this year that hope to pursue yeah. an artistic career, and and that that's really exciting. And mm -hmm. um, so, yeah. Yeah, and so with that, uh, with the next school year still a ways away, have you been thinking about 2023-24? Uh, Would you? Would you like to maybe look into getting maybe another artist in residence to be able to come back out? I mean, uh, are you? Do you have anything that's maybe in the works? Um, and, and I'm not asking to reveal anything, you know, because <laughs> don't. You know, if Joey says we're thinking about doing something and they aren't able to do it, don't don't blame him or me. It's we're just talking about. Well, maybes. I mean, right along those lines. I mean, you know, we look to the mural as as this kind of thing that makes this year special and and that makes this year's art show special and. It makes me start, just today I'm thinking, okay, what can we do next year mm -hmm. that's gonna make next year special? Um, so 
Uh, nothing really in terms of anything quite concrete and official yet, but but that's the goal. Yeah. And certainly, there's always thoughts for next year how to improve, even yeah. if even if slightly. Well, yeah, and like I said, and you keep and you keep expanding and growing in the community. Yeah. You have, I mean, the people. You have terrific community support. That's right. Uh, people love to see the. And like, as, as I even mentioned with Mr. Gagan too, when you come, if you come to visit Hicksville Schools, a lot of the artwork that you see on display is student generated i mean in mm -hmm. people's offices or oh, you know yeah. in, in the superintendent's office or whatever so i mean it's it's a, it's a it's a pretty awesome thing and yeah. and it's been a, it's been a real pleasure again this year again a terrific job they're Thank here you. till six o'clock so oh, if you want to stop by and come out and check out the uh, the great artwork they'd love to have you yes, out here right. joey thanks again Thank we'll you. be in touch and Thank i'm looking so forward to maybe wearing some artwork you know, sounds I'm, like a good time. Yeah, it sounds good. <laughs> Again, Joey Stevenson, he is the uh, the late, the upper grade junior high and the high school art teacher. I want to thank him so very much for joining us. And with that, we just have a few more tables of ceramics to look at, and we'll be able to sort of wrap up our look for you. And we, we want to thank you for joining us here on the Hicks TV YouTube channel. And hope you are enjoying the live coverage. Chris, we're getting all excited. He's thinking digital photography, doing TikToks. Tomorrow, next year's his senior year. I can see all the wheels turning in his head already. Uh, I did not sign up for that class, actually. Uh, uh, bet I you're wishing I, you were now. I had some couple other classes I signed up uh, for. That's all right. So here we go. And this is going to be neat because the last piece of art we're going to show here is going to be Christopher's. Because his is on the very, what will be the very first table. But as you can see, we've got a lot more ceramics here on display. Nice coffee mugs. This is the sort of stuff that you know they they dig up in Roman ruins and it's priceless. So who knows? A few thousand years from now. Our way around. I like this spare bottle here in the middle. It's the triangular shape with all the colored triangles. That looks pretty cool. Abigail Gatchel, the artist of that. Spin around here. And we'll spin around here. And we will finish the last piece of art from Christopher Warner. There it is, his drape dish. Pink tag, what does that mean? No idea, to be honest. <laughs> that means I get to take it. Uh, okay, I was going to say, we, I was looking to see if there was uh, like one of the keys. All right, so with that, back out here towards the main entrance. As you can see, people lining up with their kids' artwork. And should be proud of it. That's going to be on display in your house so long you get out of college you'll be coming home and your mom will be like look look 20 years from now <laughs> all right here we go we'll break free a little bit here and come around and we'll wrap up this live <laughs> broadcast here on the Hicks TV YouTube channel. Hey, again, I want to thank so very much the Hicksville Bank, right in the heart of downtown Hicksville with branches all around Northwest Ohio, Edgerton, Auburn. Uh, you can find out more. They're a member FDIC, and you can find out about uh, their hours, the branches, hours, the many banking services they have that they can provide for you and your family. Check them out online at www.thb.bank. Again, that is the Hicksville Bank, member FDIC, a silver level underwriting
longstanding supporter of Hicksville Community Television. We want to thank them so, so very much. And we want to thank all of you, too, for joining us. We hope that you have enjoyed this live look at the 2023 District Art Show here at Hicksville Exempted Village Schools. Tremendous artwork and a wide variety of it and a lot of great talent on display from the kids in kindergarten through 12th grade. I want to thank Mr. Gagan, Mr. Stevenson for joining us and talking with us about the art programs here at Hicksville Schools. And I want to thank Chris Warner for uh, giving up a little time on his Friday afternoon to operate the steady cam rig and the uh, fly cam. He's got the vest and he's got the robotic arm and everything. I want to thank him for doing the camera work and overseeing the live stream this afternoon. So with that, we want to thank everybody once again for joining us. Have a terrific rest of your Friday, a safe and happy Mother's Day weekend, and we'll be talking to you again real soon. I'm Bill Murphy from Hicks TV.